Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome in from Clyde Berry Field in Arkadelphia. It's GAC doubleheader action. Reddy's hosting Harding this afternoon. Blake Smith here with you on the Henderson State Sports Network, here with you for all 16 scheduled innings of baseball today. Reddy's took the winner in game one last night, 5-4, to four, hoping to win this nine-inning affair to clinch the series so they can go for a sweep in the last game today. Reese Weeks takes the hill for the Reddies today. The right-hander 3-0 with a 4-5-8 ERA. Start number nine on the season for him. He's gone 39 and a third. 20 earned runs, 31 hits, 37 strikeouts. Walks have been an issue though as he has surrendered 32 of them so far this year. His defense behind him looks like this. Outfield left to right, Jones, Holt, and Farah. The infield, Thomas, Cowart, Argenbright, and Rice, Landon, Irvin does the catching for the Reddies today. Start off against two of the two best batters in the Harding lineup in terms of average. Two of the top three in terms of RBI. Weeks that over the top delivery or straight on a little bit more confusing to the hitters. Takes a little bit longer to see exactly where he's coming from. And looks like we are just about ready to go. 75 degrees, a lot of cloud cover here today. Leading off, the catcher number 12, Colin Helms. But still a beautiful day for baseball. Colin Helms steps in, the Bison's catcher, batting 308, seven home runs, 22 RBI. Lakes will ready himself. We're just about ready to get underway. First pitch on the way is down and inside ball one. First pitch, one o'clock on the nose. First of two today, we're glad to have you with us. Weeks wants to get the count back even there. Nice change up, so we're gonna miss. Count evens at one and one. Again, Reddy's with a big win last night. Five to four, a lot of drama in those last couple of innings. The one one will bounce to the plate. Just like that, Weeks falls behind again. It's two and one. Two one pitches a breaking ball that misses up for ball three. Wind blowing across right to left right now this afternoon. It's behind the leadoff man, three one. He'll rock and fire and gets the called strike. Right at the belt, late breaker. He'll do what, it, what he needs to. Runs the count full. Now here's where the chess match starts. Thanks, rocks and fires. Could not get it belt high, and Helms works the leadoff walk. Batting the right fielder number eight, Michael Dewald. Michael Dewald, the right fielder, will step to the plate. Leads the team in average with a 360 clip. Six home runs, 20 RBI to go with that. He's asked to work from the stretch now. He'll miss a fastball high for ball one. Weeks has struggled this year with the walks. The leadoff walk to Helms is 33rd of the year and a pitch fouled back. Kind of leaving that one and one. Dewald, another left-handed bat at the top of this Bison's lineup. I check over to first. Not in time. Helms will get back safely. That 
wind out of the southwest about 10 miles an hour. A breaking ball got away. That's the count to 2-1. Behind the count, 2-1. Delivery on the way, and it hit him. Not the best start for weeks on the hill. Runners at first and second with nobody out. And now, now be a short meeting on the mound. Weeks will see his first right-handed batter of the afternoon with Cooper Newsom. Nice and shortstop, a 290 average, has started all 31 games for the Bisons. Four home runs, 21 RBI. He'll ground one right to short. Cowart on to Argon right at second. Over to Rice at first for the double play. 6-4-3 on the putout. Helms does advance to third, but there are two away. Chance to work around some danger here. Logan Lacey, the cleanup man for Harding today. 301 average, one home run. He's driven in 20 runs this season. First pitch will miss above the belt on the fastball. Two outs here in the top of the first. We shall come set and fire. That one popped up. Will be just outside the infield. Cowart calls for it. Makes the grab right behind the second base bag for out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Harding nothing. Reddy's coming up. Davis Welch takes the mound for Harding this afternoon. Four and two of the 2-1-6 ERA. He is the team leader in several statistical pitching categories. Tied for the lead in wins, lowest ERA. 
second in innings pitched with 50. He's gone one complete game. 12 of his 15 runs earned, 47 hits, 48 strikeouts, just 11 walks. He'll face the top three in the ready lineup, starting with Cal Jones, a leadoff man, the left fielder today. 291 average, three home runs, 11 driven in. First pitch from Welch out of the lineup is in there for strike one. Welch, a senior from Searcy. He prepped at Harding Academy, a very strong Arkansas high school baseball program. Jones grounded a second, fielded awkwardly, but still McNeil gets it over to Doyle in time for out number one. Caden Argenbright continues to set records offensively for the Reddies. A 346 average. Four home runs. He's driven in 36. And big double in last night's rally where the Reddies were at one time down four to nothing. As he looks at ball one outside. Breaking ball gets in there. Caught that inside corner for strike one. Not a pitch you're looking for down 0-1. Anytime ahead in the count. Makes those pitches in. Another breaking ball, and it's fouled off of Argon right on that same pitch. Looks like it's going to be the same location. It's 1-2. and two. The one-two on its way, swung on. That's a perfectly hit ball down in the gap. It'll bounce once before being fielded by Bowie out there and left. And Argon Bright has a one-out single. Luke Rice actually leads the team in batting average with a 360 clip. No home runs for the big fella this year. 18 driven in. starting in his 32nd game. He will take a look at a high fastball for ball one. Bowie, Price, and Dewalt left to right in the outfield for Harding. Lacey, Newsom, McNeil, and Doyle around the infield. Helms behind the plate for the right-hander, Welch. 1-0 the count. To Rice, pitch on its way, catches the outside corner. Or a called strike one. Bison's playing Rice to pull, still in double play depth. Third baseman Lacey stands right in the six hole. Well, sets and deals, swung on and missed. One and two. Just missed that fastball and touch late. The one two to the ready first baseman misses down ball two. Count evens. Nice frame job back there by Helms, but it was a little too low. Counts even, two and two. Pitch on its way, Rice pokes it out of play and foul. Rice just 18 strikeouts and 111 at bats. So far this season, he has grounded into one double play. He'd like to get on base here. The 2-2 breaking ball misses outside. Tried to throw that backdoor breaker. Could not get to the outside corner. Runs the count full 3-2. 
Keep an eye on Argon Bryant to see if he breaks for second on the pitch. He's only a 10 2 stolen bases. He won't go. Rice chops it to second. On to short for one. Over to first, but not in time. And it's a fielder's choice. 4 6 on the putout for Argon Bright. Rice reaches on the fielder's choice, but there are two away. Another left handed bat for the Reddies here at the top of the first. Mitchell Siegel. DHing today, a 314 average, a home run, eight RBI. Now Rice will take his lead off of first. First pitch chopped to short, in on the hands. Newsom will take the easy play at second. Rice is retired, and the Reddies go quietly in inning number one. No runs, one hit, no errors, none left. We head to the second inning with no score. Reese Weeks worked around a walk and a hit batsman to start the first inning. Got out of it unscathed. He'll face five, six, seven in the Harding lineup here in inning number two. Sebastian Martinez will lead it off. The Bison's DH, a 312 average, six home runs, 30 RBI. First pitch of the inning from Weeks is down and in for a ball. Both these teams, identical 12 and seven marks in conference. They are tied for third place in the league. Behind first place Southern Arkansas and second place UAM as Martinez fouls one off of himself. Martinez a catcher by trade, DHing here. He may catch the second one. Transfer from Quincy out of the GLVC. He looks at that breaking ball that gets away from Weeks, two and one. Weeks trying to get back in the count. Martinez will foul that one back to the left side now to play. Count evens at two. Two two delivery. Breaking ball did not break. Runs the count full again. Three two. A lot of pitches here early for weeks. He's played Martinez to pull. Three infielders on the right side. Calls strike three. Catches the inside corner. And Martinez goes down looking to start the frame. Batting the first base of Renai, Colton Doyle. Colton Doyle plays first for the Bisons. Low average guy, 233. Five home runs, 14 driven in. First pitch he sees the fastball well down and away. Doyle slugging 427 as he misses low again. Ball two. It's on base quite a bit, almost four out of every 10 times. 
He's walked 22 times this season. Leads the team in that category. He'll foul that one off 2-1. A very patient hitter at the plate, almost too patient. He's also struck out 28 times. That is tied for second most on the team. 2-1 from Weeks will bounce to the plate, an easy one to take. It's 3-1. No runs, no hits, no errors for Harding. No runs, one hit, no errors for the Reddies. Infield playing straight up. Outfield playing a touch of pull on the right-handed Doyle. He'll swing through that one and miss. That one had a lot of glove side run to it. 3-2. Count another full count. Important pitch here. Payoff is up for ball four. Nathan Bowie plays left field for Harding. Start number 31 on the year. In game number 31, 292 average. First pitch from Weeks catches the outside corner of the fastball for strike one. One on, one out here in the top of the second, no score. Weeks delivers again. That one low. Irvin ditches the mask and chases that ball back into the field of play. Count level at one. Weeks will come set and deliver. Fastball out of third is lifted out to left field. Jones is there, just shy of the warning track, will make the catch, and now tagging from first will be Doyle, and he turns on the Jets, advances there. Not a sacrifice, just a plain F7. Doyle will advance on the throw, but there are two away. Sawyer Price is in center field for Harding today, 264 average. No home runs, but he has driven in nine. Another runner in scoring position for Harding. With two outs, they almost went. Now look, no swing. They'll appeal, and nothing doing there. 1-0. The 1-0 delivery to the eight hole. High fastball swung on and missed. He was late on that one. 1-1 one, one count. One, 1-1 one on its way. Swung on and missed. Nice off speed from Weeks there. It fell off the table really late. It counts 1-2. Strike away from getting out of this second inning. Weeks rocks, fires, swung on and missed strike three. Whiffed on the high fastball. You have the grunt, no runs, no hits, no errors, one left. To the bottom of the second we go, Harding nothing, Reddy's nothing.
third baseman, number three, Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas leads off the bottom of the second for the Reds. a 280 average. He's driven in 10. Welch back to work here in the second. Breaking ball misses down and outside. Ball one. The 1-0 to Thomas. Misses down. Ahead in the count early. 2-0. DT gets himself ahead, 3-0. Else can't find the zone here early. Reddies would love a leadoff walk. Pitch on the way, Thomas shows bunt, pulls back and takes strike one on the inner third. That one flipped right up the middle, diving stop, but it's out of the glove of McNeil, and Thomas will reach with a leadoff single. One more step to the middle might have got, done him in. But instead, it's one on with nobody out, a leadoff single for Thomas. Louis Holt comes to the plate. Very fast, ready center fielder, a 312 average. No home runs, 14 RBI. First pitch, takes a look. Fastball outside corner for a called strike one. Comes set, checks the runner twice. Holt shows bunt, pulls it back, and takes a look at ball one. One one count, one on, nobody out. Bottom of inning number two with no score. Reddy's with two hits on the board. Showing bunt, gets it down, but it trickles foul. And Holt will frustratedly walk back to the batter's box, knowing that he is behind at the count one, two. One, two, nobody out. Holt trying to advance. Thomas to second. He won't bunt there. He will swing on a pitch in the dirt and miss. And will go down swinging. Batting the right fielder, number 10, Luke Farah. Ready right fielder, Luke Farah, will step in. And we'll get his signal from Cody Hooten down at third base. Farah hitting just 194. One home run, though, he's driven in eight. We'll see what he can do here. He'll swing at the first pitch he sees, and a base hit to the right side. Thomas will stop at second. And the Reddies have runners at first and second with just one out, second hit of the inning. Batting the shortstop, number 11, Logan Cowart. Logan Cowart's been a good RBI man for the Reddy so far this season. 22 driven in with just a 260 average. It's the kind of guy that does his job. Two on, one out, bottom of the second. Neither team has crossed the plate yet, and Cowart swings and misses at a breaking ball. Pitch on the way, another same pitch, and Cowart realized it about halfway through the swing, couldn't stop himself. Down the count now, 0-2. Breeze picking.
Looking up again, right to left. Cowart right at the second baseman. On to second in time. Cowart will make it to first, though. Fielder's choice. Farah is retired 6-4 on the putout. Cowart reaches on the fielder's choice. Already the third fielder's choice for the Reddies today. Thomas will advance to third with two out. And Landon Irvin will step to the plate. Irvin, catch, Irvin catching today. Second best average on the team, 347. 17 for 49. This season, starting his 17th game of the year. He'll look at the first pitch he sees and misses it down. Count 1 0. Welts will come set. And long pause there. That pitch works its way in, catches the inner third for a call strike one. Two on, two out. Runners on the corners for the Reddies. And that one will bounce. Trying to get to second is Coward, and the throw is wild. And that'll bring in the first run of the game on the E2. Not 100% sure how we'll score it, but probably a stolen base and an E2. And that is what they'll do. 2-1 the count now. Ready, strike first. Pitch on its way, and Irvin swings through another breaking ball. Count evens two and two. And the Reddies have produced a run. Would love to punch in another one. Two two pitch, another breaking ball. Irvin down on strikes. Three outs. So at the Reddies. Do get a run across on two hits, one error. They left one on base. To the top of inning number three we go. Reddy's one, Hardy. Nine one two up for the Bisons here in the top of the third. Reddies lead it one to nothing. Drew McNeil leads off for Harding. He plays second base. A two oh two average coming into play today. First pitch right down pine for strike one. Nice fastball there. Second one is pulled well foul off the concrete wall Not in right field, and that will drift all the way back into play. Fair will throw it back off to the side and get set for the 0-2 delivery. O2 the count. 
Weeks rocks and fires. Breaking ball didn't get all the way down. Trying to get that chase pitch up around the letters. Next pitch, still a chase pitch. Not as competitive as Weeks would have liked it. Two two on its way, swung on, chopped. Argon Bright will let it take a hop at second. He'll fire over to Rice in plenty of time, and there's one away in the third. Batting the catcher number twelve, Colin Helm. Back to the top of the lineup. Second time through the order for Harding. Helms walked, got all the way to third back in the first. Was stranded there, however. Bisons have already stranded two runners. And nice breaking ball in there for strike one. One on its way, high fastball. Touch too high. One and one. One one. Too much arm side run. Weeks falls behind for the first time this inning. Try to even it back up here. 2 1. Foul back. He does so. Makes it 2 and 2. Left hander Helms will step back in. 2 2. Breaking ball. Missed up. That's been his miss today. Started off with a with a few pitches low and inside. He's adjusted a little too much. Payoff pitch is lifted out to right field. Farrah watching it as it will fly over the right field wall. And the Bisons tie it up. Helms with his eighth home run on the season and we are all tied up at one. Well, Weeks would like to have that pitch back. He's got the heart of the lineup coming up here. Nothing, nothing. Pitch to Dewald misses inside. Fastball trying to get back to the counter, and he does. Strike one. Makes how that modified wind up. Rocking fire. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Looks like he took a little bit off there. That home run by Helms. The first hit allowed by Weeks today. on its way, chopped to second, Argon Bright there, plays the hop over to first, Rice will in his glove down in the turf to make that one, and there's two away. Batting the shortstop, number 15, Cooper Newsom. Newsom grounded into a double play back in the first inning. 6-4-3, grounded right to Coward at short. Fastball, outer third. Nice pitch, strike one. Pitch in there, that one would not find the zone, one and one. One one to 
delivery, fastball, pulled foul. Two, the delivery on its way misses low. We'll chase pitch. Two to the count. Two outs here in the top of the third. Breaking ball lifted into left field for a base hit. and will stop at first. And the Bisons have one on with two away. Batting the third baseman, number 10, Logan Lacey. Lacey popped up to short to end that first inning. Mr. Lacey is chopped a third this time. Thomas charges, fires across in time for out number three. Harding does get the one run back on a couple of hits. No errors. One left. We head to the bottom of the third. All tied up. One run apiece. Top of the lineup due up for the Reddies here in the third, all tied up at one. Now batting the left fielder number eight, Cal Jones. Cal Jones will lead it off. And we'll have a little bit of a delay. Second baseman McNeil got the wrong glove. That happened a few times, but definitely not in baseball. Well, slow pitch softball summer league fun. You grab the wrong glove because they look they all look the same. Jones grounded out to second to start the first inning for the Reddies. He'll take a look at ball one outside. One oh one is way Welch working quickly and he misses. Down and in for ball two. Neither of these pitchers have limited balls they've thrown in either inning. Welch misses that. Early release misses it high and arm side. Doesn't finish and he's behind the count now, 3-0. Jones making start number 24 on the season. He will take a look at a nice little, looks like a slider there, maybe a cut fastball, three and one. Three one on the way is pulled into right field for a base hit. Jones has a leadoff single, and the Reddies are aboard. Batting the second base, the number six, Caden Argenbright. You always want to have runners on base. 
When Oregon Bright comes to bat, he singled back in the first, so his hit streak extends. First pitch he sees, gets in there for strike one. Boy, just kept turning over. The 0-1 does not get that outside corner. Could not do so. Count evens at 1-1. One Sets, pauses, and fires. Argon Bright pokes it off the end of the bat. With the left side and out of play. Now we'll have to widen that stance and shorten up on the bat. It's one of those games where you just put the ball into play and something could happen. One-two delivery, misses inside. Down evens at two. Multiple set. Jones wobbling over there. He will not steal. Argon Bright pulls it foul down the first base line. Went foul just shy of the bag stay alive to fight another day. Two, two, one on, no out here in the bottom of the third. The pitch is low for, as they hit it. Bounced awful high there. Regardless, Argon Bright's aboard, and they're two on with nobody out. The first base number 22, Luke Bright. Rice reached on the fielder's choice, narrowly avoided the double play. Side ball one. And now Helms will call time and go out and talk to his pitcher, see if they can get on the same page again. Quick visit, nothing serious. the count to Luke Rice. He'll fire, that one bounces, runners won't go. It's 2-0. and oh. And at this point, the Reddies are just going to wait till he throws a strike. Rice thought about it and pulled the bat back in time and now is head 3-0. Rice probably taking all the way here. He will. Outside corner for strike one. One, two on, nobody out here in the bottom of the third. Pitch to Rice, bounces in the plate, ball four, and the Reddies have him loaded with nobody out. Batting the 10th inning hitter, the 35, Mitchell Siegel. 
And now we will take time as Patrick McGehey comes out of the Harding Dump. It's a nice spot for Mitchell Siegel to be in. Ended the first on a fielder's choice. Now has the bases loaded with nobody out here in the third. Couple of arms down to the Harding bullpen. And Welts will step off. Notice the umpires there making the ones that you might see in professional ball, the disengagement rule. Now the home plate umpire will call time, and there's a wristband that Helms needs. So that will not count as a disengagement there. Rule obviously seen in Major League Baseball. Last season got a lot of positive traction in speeding up games starting to leak its way down to the lower levels. Siegel looks at the first pitch, breaking ball for a called strike. I don't blame him either. I probably want to make sure he threw a strike. Welch will come set ahead 0-1 in the count, and that fastball misses down and away. 1-1. Good chance for the Reds to do damage here in the third. On one pitch on its way, breaking ball, misses down, ball two. Big league take there by Siegel. Head in the count now, 2-1. Welch has to be thinking lower part of the zone. Want to get that ground ball. He thinks low, but misses well low. It's three and one. Be looking middle, middle fastball here. Three one. Misses down. Ball four, and the Reddies walk one home. Back to back walks after the hit batsman and the single. And the Reddies take the lead right back. Now Dylan Thomas will come to the plate. He singled. Stole a base. Reached third on an error by the catcher Helms. And then scored. Big hack and a whiff there. Thomas does not want to have to force it. Argan Bright leads off a third, Rice off second, Siegel off first. Thomas pokes that one the other way, foul. Gotta be quick down that side. O2 to count. Thomas the swing and he'll foul it off to the right side. Back and out of play. O2 still the count. Thomas will get another chance here. New life, and he swings and misses on that high fastball. One away. He was late 
on the heat. Now Louis Holt will get his chance. He struck out to lead off the second. is loaded. One away here in the third for the ready. First pitch. Fastball outside corner and at the belt. For call strike. Holt looks back at the home plate umpire frustratedly, but he knew what the result was. One out. Bags full. Fastball misses outside. A lot of pitches thrown this inning by Welch. He's got to be getting tired out there. Two to one. Reddy's on top. Breaking ball gets in there for a called strike two. Holt doesn't want to have to do too much. Want to force things like Thomas did in his A.B. Clock violation on Welch, and that's a break for Holt. 2-2. Two, two. They call it the action clock. Do not see that very often. The pitch, Holt bloops one into left center field. It's down for a base hit. Argon Bridal Store, Rice is getting the wave around. The ball is cut off. A sliding Rice will get into home. It's a two-run single for Louis Holt. Siegel stops at second. That is the right field number 10, Luke Vera. Luke Vera wants to help the Reddies join the hit parade. Runners the first and second, one out. Swung on, lifted, right side, drifting, and out of play. Reddies have not had to jump on Welch early so far today. Fair, I wanted to. Kind of taken by surprise. So one. Welch rocks and fires, shows bunt. He did not offer. Can we squeeze it anymore? Harden fans starting to express their frustration. Don't do him any good. He counts one one. Breaking ball, lifted, right side, foul and out of play. One, two. Another ready gets behind in the count. They have fought back continuously. One, two, the count to Farah. Swung on, pushed back right side, foul and out of play again. Still just a little late. We'll see the one-two again. Throw on its way, cut on, fouled off right side again. Once more, breaking ball, misses low. Come on, Blue! Let's go! 2 2. That's off! 
I'm sure you can hear the expressions of the Bison fans down below us. 2-2 pitch, fouled straight back. Stays alive again. Fires, Thomas fouls it off again. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up here. A two and two count. Vera has fought. And he will look at that ball low. It gets away from Helms, but he recovers quickly and another full count. And this and bat will see a 10th pitch. Three, two on its way, swung on and missed. And Farah goes down on strikes. Batting the shortstop, number 11, Logan Cowart. Down Logan Cowart. Two on, two out here in the bottom of the third. Reddies have scored three times this inning. They lead it four to one. Howard spins, fires back to second, throw not in time. Siegel makes it back. First pitch on its way, gets away. Runners will advance. Siegel to third, Holt to second. Passed ball. Now a base hit gets the Reddies two more runs. It's up to Logan Cowart to get there. The pitch chopped, foul. One and one the count, two on, two out in the third. Delivery from Welch, swung on and missed on the breaking ball. Count now to one and two. Breaking ball, misses just up. That's horrible. That's a strike in every league in America. Two, two from Welch, misses low, ball three. Another full count. Runners will not be going here. He'll swing, and Cody Hooten will call time, and he'll go down and see Cowart. He's putting some confidence in his shortstop. Reached on a fielder's choice back in the second. See 
a payoff pitch here. Swung on, fouled off. Howard does a good job staying alive there. Widens the stance, shortens the bat, just looking for contact here. Another breaking ball, misses outside. Ball four and the bases are loaded again. Landon Irvin finds his way to the plate. Struck out swinging to end the second. He's hoping for a different outcome. Well, sets and deals, swung on, chopped, stabbed by Welch. He will trot over to first and toss it, and the Reddies strand three, but not before they add three runs to the score. Through three innings of play, Reddy's four, Harding one. We're back after this. Martinez. Well, the Reddies send all nine batters to the plate in the third, get three runs to show for it, and lead four to one. Five, six, seven, due up again for the Bisons here. Martinez will lead it off. He struck out looking back in the second as the leadoff man. He'll look at ball one. The pitch misses high. Weeks behind 2 0. You have to wonder if sitting on the bench for that long, now Weeks a little rusty as Martinez pulls that one well foul. And the right field line 2 1. One from Weeks, catches the inside corner for strike two. Two, two, on its way to Martinez. Swung on and missed. He's down on strikes for the second time today. And there's one away in the Harding fourth. Batting the first base, number nine, Colton Doyle. Pitch to Doyle is well high. Doyle walked, was stranded at second back in the second inning. We'll take a look at a fastball in the outside corner. Or strike one. Big Bender could not find the zone. It's 2-1. Nolan 
Nobody on. One out. The 2 1 from Weeks is lifted, hit hard, right over the middle, going out to left center, and it clears the wall. Home run number six on the season for Colton Doyle, and the Bisons get one back. That is a left fielder. A big shot. That ball just stayed right over the middle of the plate. Doyle saw it. Spun on it quick. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, Boo. First pitch to Bowie misses high. When you're playing 16 innings in a, in a day, you know that you're bullpen is going to be somewhat limited. That one swung on and fouled off. Count evens at one. You don't want to go to that bullpen too early. One, one. Cannot get down. Weeks has consistently missed up. Breaking ball, stayed up again, 3-1. Tipped into the glove of the 3-1. And it's a full count to Nathan Bowie. Flew out to left back in the second inning. call time and he will head out to the hill to visit with Reese Weeks. A very quick visit. Payoff pitch. Call strike three. Bowie down on strikes. He turns and hangs his head in frustration as he walks to the dugout, and there are two away. That is a center fielder with five, Sawyer Price. Price a strikeout victim to end the second. He does not want to end this Bison fourth inning. And he will look at a fastball outside. Rocks and fires. Chopper to short, and Cowart tried to play it on the backhand, could not handle it. And Price is aboard. That is the second baseman for one, Drew McNeil. Price reaches on the error, and McNeil will come up. Put the man on and two out. Potential tying run. Misses down. One oh pitch fouled off. It's the left side and well out of play. Count evens at one. Pitch turned on, pulled down the right field line, drifting and foul. Not by much, maybe three feet. And it's just a long, loud strike. And McNeil now down to the count, one, two. Weeks 
checks the runner at first. Inside fastball called strike three. Weeks gets out of danger again, does give up one. One run, one hit, one error, one left. To the bottom of the fourth we go. Reddy's lead it four to two. Cal Jones will lead it off for the Reddies here at the bottom of the fourth. On top, four to two. A couple of home runs, the only runs for Harding. Reddies had a big inning back in the third. Scored three runs. All nine men came to the plate as Jones fouls this one off left side out of play. Count. That one lifted kind of into no man's land down the left field line. It is carrying. It will land fair. And it's a leadoff double on a Texas leaguer from Cal Jones, his second hit of the day. That is the second base number six, Caden Argenbright. Kept waiting for that ball to go foul. It never did, and Jones is on with the leadoff double. Jones dancing around back there. First pitch to Argenbright will miss high and outside for a ball. Argon Bride is fouled straight back. You gotta imagine with Jones's speed at second base that a base hit from Argon Bride should score him. The 1-1, one, one, chopped up the middle, off the glove of Welch, on to McNeil. He fires over to Doyle in time, 1-4-3 on the put out. Jones does advance to third, there's just one away. That is the first base number 22, Luke Wright. Rice. 0 for 1 with a walk and a run scored an inning ago. First pitch outside corner, fastball strike one. Harding's infield playing in. Rice looks at strike two, catches that outside corner again. Oh, 
to the count to Rice. Pitch misses well outside, almost got away. Jones turned the brakes on and got away. Count now one and two. Wind still blowing right to left here. Inside pitch, Rice turns on it, lifts it out to right field. It will be caught by Dewald. Jones will score easily on the sacrifice fly, and it's five to two readies. RBI number 12 of the season for Luke Rice. Hey, and Mitchell Siegel will come to the plate with two outs. First pitch bounces, ball one. Takes a look at a strike. One and one. Nobody on, two out. And that pitch low and inside. Siegel does a great job getting his lower body out of the way. Two-one, the pitch from Welch outside. Three-one. Have to imagine Welch is gonna be pretty aggressive here. Swung on, chopped. That will be foul. It'll bounce just to the right of the bag. Count runs full. We'll have a payoff pitch here. On the way, he is poked down the left field line. Well foul. Have another 3 2 delivery. Pitch on its way, poked. That one's out of play. Nice job by Siegel. Stays alive. Pitch pulled is just under the glove of the outstretched Doyle. It's a two-out hit for Siegel. He will make a wide turn, but stay at first. Just a very well-placed hit. The inning stays alive for the Reddies, and Thomas will step to the plate. One for two. A walk, stolen base, and a run scored. He struck out an inning ago. Comes to bat for the third consecutive inning. Let's look at breaking ball that'll bounce. is chopped center. Nice catch by Newsom. He'll make the easy play. A nice diving stop by Newsom. The fielder's choice will end up the third out of the inning. With the ready score, one run on two hits. No errors, nobody left. To the fifth we go. Ready's five, Harding two.
Helms. Colin Helms will lead things off for the Bisons here in the fifth. He has walked and also homered back in the third. Takes a look at ball one from Weeks, who's out for his fifth inning of work, looking for that quality start. Got to get through this inning. 1-0 misses up high again. The 2-0 from Weeks. Inside, too far inside. It's quickly 3-0. 3-0 on its way, misses high, and it's a leadoff four pitch walk for Helms. Dewald to the plate. He was hit in the first inning, grounded out to second. Back in inning number three. Pitch low, runner going. Irvin didn't realize it, still nearly got him. Slid off the bag, did Helms. Came off the bag, but was able to get to it late. Stay safe. The count one and zero. Oh. Pitch on the way is high. Ball two. Six straight balls thrown by Weeks. And the Reds will call time, and they'll go visit with the right-hander. Conversation, hoping to settle weeks down. The 2 0 is low. All three weeks unable to get back in it with the fastball. First base unoccupied. And a strike there thrown by Weeks. Dewald probably taking all the way there. Three one on its way. Breaking ball inside corner. Back to back walks again with the top of this Harding lineup. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Newsom one for two, grounded into a double play in the first, singled in the third. There's pitch, nice over the top delivery called strike one. Owen Vantillo getting loose down the ready bullpen, swung on and missed. Newsom with a big hack. Oh, 2 pitch well outside, not, not an overly competitive pitch. Trying to get Newsom to chase something outside. Big 
Big overhand breaking ball misses high and outside. Ball two. Two two from Weeks. Fastball pulled foul. Bounces off the front of the ready dugout. Still 2-2. Two, two. two on. Nobody out here in the top of the fifth. Breaking ball misses high. The count works full. After getting ahead 2-0. Ready softball in the deciding game of their series at Harding. Tied 6-6 in the 12th inning. Big overhand breaking ball. Misses ball four. Three straight walks to start the fifth. And the bases are loaded. Lacey's not had a great day so far. He's popped out to short, grounded out to third. Corners in here for the Reddies. Double play depth up the middle. First pitch turned on, lifted into left field for a base hit. One run will score. They'll stop the second as Weeks will get the cutoff at miss. And Lacey with an RBI single. It's now 5-3. to three. And that will be the end of the day for Reese Weeks. He goes four innings plus. We'll tell you about the new ready pitcher after this.
Owen Van Teo, the new pitcher for the Reddies. No decisions, a 7-2-4 ERA on the season, making appearance number 13. He's gone 13 and two-thirds innings, 17 hits, 11 runs. He has struck out 12 and walked 10. Comes in in a pretty tough spot, and the first pitch he sees is lifted out to right center by Martinez, and it is over the wall. A grand slam for the Bisons, who will now take a 7-5 lead. Grand slam, baby. On the first pitch. There is still nobody away. So that will close the door on Weeks' day. Four plus. Four hits, six runs, five strikeouts. Called strike one there to Doyle. Five walks and a hit batsman for Weeks. Breaking pitch misses low. Weeks right now the pitcher of record. The Reddies can get one more run. He's off the hook. They got to worry about getting an out here in the fifth inning. Her cut piece misses high. It's two and one. Don't know that Vantillo knew that Martinez was going to be as aggressive as he ended up being. Another breaker in there for call strike two. The 2-2. Cut on and missed. Strike three. Doyle is down on strikes for the first time today, and the Reddies have their out. Bowie 0 for 2. Fly out and a strikeout. And strikeout number 13 on the season for Vantillo. On the second home run, he's allowed. And a called strike one. Batters hitting 315 off of the junior. Pitch high and outside, leaving the count at one. Breaking ball, lifted out to center, very well struck. Holt is on the yeah, way back, yeah. and that's a home run for Nathan Bowie, just his second of the season. And that Harding lead increases. It's now 8-5. to five. Jump to three. Let's go, Saul. Keep it going, baby. The eighth man to the plate for the Bisons this inning is Sawyer Price, and he will take a look at a high fastball. Six runs for the Bisons here in the top of the fifth. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Breaking ball chopped, high chopper to third. Fielded on the second hand, barehanded by Thomas across, and it's going to go, get baby. past Rice. And Sawyer Price will have a single and reach second on the E5. And now we'll have another visit. A couple of arms slowly but surely getting loose, and we'll actually call for a new pitcher. We'll tell you about the new ready pitcher after this.
The left-hander Luke Carter makes his way into the game for the Reddies, 1-0 with an 0-8-7 ERA, making his team leading 17th appearance. <coughs> He's gone just 10 and a third innings, however. Batter sitting just 206. He'll face the left-hander McNeil, who will foul it off to the left side for strike one. Vantillo's day is done after a third of an inning. He is responsible for Price standing on second base. Regardless of that would be an unearned run at this time. The 0-1 inside corner for call strike two. One away. Breaking pitch comes in there and is fouled off by McNeil. Carter comes set. The pitch misses high. Trying to get him to chase it there. Nothing doing. It's one and two. That one lifted out into right field. Farah coming on, and he'll make the catch for out number two. Ball stayed up just a little bit too long. Back to the top of the lineup. Helms, who led this inning off with a walk, got a steal, later scored on the Lacey single. First pitch he sees, he'll chop to second. Argenbright is there, fires to Rice in time. Carter faces two and retires two, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Harding strikes for six runs in the frame. We'll be back after this. It's Ready Baseball on the Henderson State Sports Network. Javier Lobo, the new pitcher for Harding, out of Guatemala. Four innings for Welch. Lobo, two and one with a 5 3 0 ERA. And the first batter he sees is Louis Holt, who will look at a ball. Welch goes four innings, about five runs, six hits. And Holt will look at the called strike. 
Welch will get a no decision, did not go the mandatory five. As a starter to qualify. Big change up swing and missed by Holt. Lobo making his 12th appearance. He started two games, 18 and two thirds, 26 hits, 11 runs, 23 strikeouts to just six walks. Batters hitting 329 off of him. And he'll throw a sword there as Holt goes down on strikes. For the second time today, there's one away. Farah has singled and struck out for the Reddies today. He'll come to bat with nobody aboard. And one out here in the bottom of the fifth, trailing 8-5. Swings at the first pitch he sees, lifts it up to right field. Dewald will camp under it and make the catch for the second out of the inning. Coward the last hope for the Reddies to avoid a 1-2-3. He reached on the fielder's choice and walked, so he is 0 for 1. He will take a look at strike one. That one lifted out into center field. Fairly deep. Price takes a couple steps to his left, and the Reddies go one, two, three in the fifth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. We head to the sixth inning. Reddies trail at eight to five. Luke Carter remains in the game for the Reddies. He'll face the heart of this Harding lineup. Two, three, four. Do up. And we'll start with Michael Dewald, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. He has also hit. He scored a run back an inning ago. And he'll swing at the first pitch he sees from Carter. Foul Tippett just underneath of Irvin's legs where home plate umpire will just pick it up. The 0 1 on its way inside corner called strike two. Nice pitch there by Carter, even though he missed his spot. Ball was well outside. O2 the count. Pitch on the way. Well outside. Tried the chase pitch. Didn't quite go that way. Ball will be low. Count will even at two and two.
Two to the count. Carter's delivery swung on and missed. Strike three. Dewall down on strikes for out number one. And that might be the end of the day for Carter. We'll wait and see. Jackson Gregg now on the mound for the Reddies, making appearance number six on the season. One and O oh with a zero ERA. He's on three and two thirds innings, four hits, five strikeouts, two walks. He has faced 14 batters. I don't know how long he'll be given. Just a little damage control as his first pitch is a ball low and inside to Cooper Newsom. Shortstop is one for two with a walk and a run scored. He will swing at that one and hit a towering shot to left. It is well foul. Well short of the fence measures 340 down the lines. Here, Clyde Berry, 365 to the gaps and 390 to straightaway center field. One to one the count, one out in the sixth. Pitch from Greg, nice breaker ball. One and two. Craig sets the one two. Just missed. Really hard for Newsom to pull back on that one, but he did so. Evens the count two and two. Two two on its way. Swung on. Popped to shallow right field. Farah calls for it and will make the catch. And there are two gone in the inning. Lacey had that RBI single an inning ago. That was the last batter for Reese Weeks. He will.
will throw a pitch low. Will Jackson Gregg for ball one. Eight runs, seven hits, no errors for Harding. Five runs, six hits, two errors for the Reddies. There's two out here in the top of inning number six. A big fifth inning for Harding. The difference here, six runs in the frame. That one chopped foul. And the count will find itself even again at one and one. The one one misses outside. Now two and one. Ready softball does get the win in twelve innings. So they take the series on the road at Harding. Will be a very excited group coming back to Arkadelphia. The two one misses outside. And it's three and one. Three one the count. Pitch on its way. Fastball inside. Pulled foul. Another full count in a game that has been full of them. The payoff pitch, breaking ball outside, misses for ball four. Lacey walks for the first time today. Martinez wasted no time after the pitching change an inning ago. The first pitch he saw from Owen Vantillo, he deposited over the right center field wall. Give Harding the lead that they have yet to relinquish. First pitch high, ball one. Pickoff move to first. Back in time is Lacey. It's a good quick pickoff move for Jackson Gregg. A junior from Keller, Texas. He'll throw a ball again. Transfer from Seward County Community College in Kansas. Pitch tries to take the outside corner and it misses just out. It's 3 0. Pitch not competitive. Back to back walks for Greg. There are two aboard with two out. That is the first base number nine, Colton Doyle. Doyle with a home run and a strikeout, and will take time as there will be a visit to the mound. Just a calming mound visit there. The second defensive charge conference for the Reddies in today's game. And the first pitch to Doyle is in there for a strike. Breaking ball just missed the outside corner. 
Bragg listed at six foot four, two hundred and five pounds. A big right hander. His one one delivery, that one catches the outer third. And a frustrated Doyle knew it. The one two misses well away. Low for ball two. Two two on its way. Swung on and missed on the high fastball. Strike three. Good bounce back inning for the Reddies defensively. No runs, no hits, no errors. They leave two stranded. Head to the bottom of the fifth. It's still 8-5 in favor of the Bisons. Nine one two due up here for the Reddies in the bottom half of inning number six. Trailing eight to five. Landon Irvin steps to the plate. 0 oh, four two. Lobo back out for his second inning of work. First pitch from Lobo is down the left side. The throwback a little too much to handle. It's 0 and 1 regardless. Yo, know, one breaking ball stayed well above the belt to level the count again. Oh, well, comes set, fires that pitch in the outside corner, gets it for a called strike two. One and two. Pitch on its way, swung on and missed. Irvin down on strikes for the second time today. There's one away here in the sixth. That is the left fielder, number eight, Kyle Jones. First pitch to Cal Jones bounces to the plate. Jones is two for three. A single, a double, and two runs scored. The only blot on his line is a ground out to second to start the game. He looks at ball one. Two zero the count. Jones shows bunt, pulls back, and takes a look at call strike one. Two one. Nobody on. One out. Bottom of the sixth. Pitch swung on and missed. Big hack for Jones. Swung right over the top of it. And it's two and two. The 2-2. Two, two. Hey, 
inside corner, called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lobo. He's got three on the afternoon, and there's quickly two away. Argon Bright, one for two. He was hit by a pitch and scored a run back in the third. That was the Reddies' big inning. Now he will take a look. And it looked like a two-seam fastball. Worked its way back arm side. A one. High pitch. Argon Bright gets a bat on it. Fouls it straight back behind 0-2. Lobo fires the 0-2, swung on, chopped, foul. It's a foul tip that Helms could not catch. The 0-2 once more is fouled off the mask of Helms, and he'll walk around for a minute. Get himself settled back in. Back at it now, O oh, two. Pitch, Argon Bright turns on that one, sends it down the right field line, hooking and foul. Just a touch out in front there. We'll have another 0-2 pitch here. We'll see if Lobo goes after him or not. He'll throw a fastball high. The 1-2 this time. Argy swings on that one and puts a base hit into right field. Another solid piece of hitting. And Argon Bright has his second hit of the day. Luke Rice will come to the plate. 0 for 1. A walk, a run scored, an RBI on the sacrifice back in the fourth. Comes to the plate here with two out. Bottom of the sixth, the Reddy's trailing 8 to 5. That one lined right back up the middle, played perfectly by Newsom. He'll go the easy way to retire Argon Bright at second. And the Reddies go without making much noise in the sixth. No runs, one hit, no errors, none left. To the seventh we go. Reddies still trail at 8-5. to five.
bottom third of the lineup due up for Harding here. Top of the seventh will start with Nathan Bowie. One, four, three with a home run back in that fifth inning. He'll lead it off here in the bottom of the seventh. That ball chopped up the middle. Oregon Bright stops and cannot keep the ball on the shuffle. It'll be a leadoff single for Bowie. Price, one for three. He's actually been the beneficiary of two, which have been both of the Reddy's errors back in the fourth and fifth innings, respectively. Ball breaking ball stayed high as Greg remains out there for the Reddy's. Oh, no. Price starts to show bunt, pulls back, and takes a high ball two. Eight runs, eight hits, no errors for Harding. Five runs, seven hits, two errors for the Reddies. The difference in the game right now, Harding explodes for six runs in the top of the fifth. There's a called strike. The Reddies' big inning was back in the third, where they scored three in the bottom half. Pickoff move back to first. No tag, back in plenty of time is Bowie. Pitch is in there, strike two right at the belt. It's two and two. Now Price will not be showing bunt anymore. At least if he has the sense to realize that. Two to the count. The pitch from Greg swung on foul straight back. And we'll do it again. Two to the count, nobody out, top of the seventh. The pitch swung on, lifted high. Left side of the infield, drifting toward foul territory is Thomas. He will make the catch in foul ground, and there is one away. McNeil 0 for 3, but it looks like he will not face Jackson Gregg, who is done for the afternoon, will tell you about the new ready pitcher when we come back after this.
Ryan Galvin, the new ready pitcher. Two and four with a 7.01 ERA, making just his third relief appearance of the season. My magic spot, so sorry. Made one against Southern Arkansas on the 19th and back at Union in a midweek game. First pitcher he faces is McNeil, who takes a big cut and misses 0 and 1. One aboard, one out here in the top of the seventh. Reddy's trail, Harding 8-5. to five. Galvin, the left-hander, works that far side of the rubber. He'll throw a pitch in the dirt. Count evens, one and one. Tries to work that outer third of the plate as much as he can, working that far side. Goes back toward the middle, and McNeil will chop that one foul. And the count, one, two. Two from Galvin is outside corner called strike three. First strike out of the day for Galvin. The first pitcher he sees. So Greg goes a full inning. No runs so far. One hit, one strikeout, two walks. He is responsible for Bowie over at first base. Lineup card flips over again. Here's Helms, Bison's catcher, and he'll look at ball one. One on two out. The pitch from Galvin is low. Two and zero oh as the sun finally starts to make an appearance here at Clyde Berry Field on a very nice day here in Arkadelphia. That breeze out of the southwest. Galvin misses outside. It's three and zero. Oh. At least make this a competitive pitch. He does, and it's a called strike. One on, two out, three one the count to the leadoff man, Helms. Pitch is lifted. That's got a chance, and it does get in the gap. One hops the wall. Coming around third is Bowie. They'll wave him on. Up, Throw baby. cut off by Argon Bright is high. And it's an RBI double for Helms. His second hit and second RBI of the game. That, is right field, number eight, Michael Ewald. that will be the only run charged to Carter. Go Mike. And now Dewald comes up with the man in scoring position and two outs. Outside corner got there you go. there for a call strike one. Galvin checks his runner behind him at second base. Breaking ball. Got the outer third again. Called strike two. Go, 
Mike. Breaking ball inside corner. A beautiful pitch from Galvin. And strike three is called. One run, two hits, no errors, one left. It's stretch time in Arkadelphia. Harding tacks on a run. They lead it nine to five. Four, five, six up for the Reddies here in the seventh. Lobo back out. Again, yeah, he's going to work as long as he's being effective. He'll face the left-handed Mitchell Siegel. One for two as he looks at strike one. Reddies have not scored since the bottom of the fourth. One in the second, three in the third, one in the aforementioned fourth. As it's ball bounces in the turf. Harding with one in the third, one in the fourth, six in the fifth. They tacked on another one in the seventh. Go, Hop. Another ball down. Now they'll go out and visit with Lobo. A lot of loafing around in the bullpen down the first baseline. Nobody warming up. Some people doing some stretches and light tossing. Typical bullpen activity around the seventh inning as Siegel lifts that one out to left field. Drifting toward the line is Bowie and he will make the catch in fair territory to get the first out. Batting the third base, the number three, Dylan Thomas. First time we've seen Dylan Thomas in a while. He grounded into a fielder's choice to end the fourth. He now comes up with one out in the seventh. Big breaking ball. Thomas gets a piece of it. Not enough. It's fouled straight back. Pitch chopped to third, fielded on the backhand by Lacey. Fires across yeah, in plenty of time. <coughs> Retire Thomas. And there are quickly two away for the Reddies. Louis Holt has struck out twice. Also had a two-run single for his lone hit of the day. Lobo trying to work another inning. And Holt lays down the bunt. Lobo fields, underhands to Doyle. And one, two, three, go the Reddies in the seventh. Stretch time here at Clyde Berry. Reddies running out of chances. They trail Harding nine to five.
Matthew Heron now comes to the mound for the Reddies. Appearance number 10 on the season, 1-0 with a 3-1-2 ERA. He'll face the heart of the Harding lineup, 3-4-5. His first pitch to Newsom is high for ball one. Heron, eight and two thirds, four hits, three runs, eight strikeouts, six walks. The batter's just hitting 143 off of him, and he will throw that one. It'll miss just high, 2 and 0 oh to Newsom. One for three with a walk. He'll chop that one. He'll say it's foul. It hit him in the box as it rolls up and bounces on the third base bag. The 2 1 from Heron is just high. At least it looks to be. Three one the count, nobody out here. In the top of the eighth. Oh, and that pitch got him high and tight. And Newsom will be aboard. The second bison to be hit today. Go and check on him. Do some shaking up a bit on that one. He'll stay in the game. And Lacey will come to the plate. One for three. The walk and RBI. And run scored. First pitch misses just low. One and zero. Oh. Not the start Matthew Heron wanted. Hit batsman and now falls behind to the Harding cleanup hitter. Called strike on the inner third. He'll get that one back. One, one on its way, misses high for ball two. Ready pitchers have consistently missed high today. It's been their miss. Plenty of walks so far on the afternoon. Seven men walked by ready pitchers. It does not include the two hit batsmen. And sets, fires the 2 1, breaking ball, never got down. Up there at the chin. 3 and 1. <laughs> 3 1 on the way. Fastball misses low. So again. Harding has runners at first and second with nobody out. Go, Seb. It's happened a couple times today. Now Irvin will try to go out there and calm his pitcher down. Here and already the sixth pitcher used by the Reddies today. That is 
The home run by Martinez is really what got this Harding offense going. The grand slam back in the fifth on the first pitch he saw from Owen Van Tio. Infield fly rule is in effect. See if Heron can get a ball popped up on the infield or better yet, a double play ball. I think Martinez will be aggressive here. He will take a look at low ball one. Chopped to second, past Argon Bright, and that looks like it'll score one. It will. The throw is cut off and short by Coward, an RBI going, single for Martinez, and now the lead is 10-5. the first nine, RBI number five for Martinez in this game. Doyle will come to the plate. One for three, the walk, two strikeouts, and a solo home run. First pitch swinging, lifting. If it's fair, it's an infield fly. It'll be in foul territory, so that one will be negated and there is the first out of the inning. Bowie is also homered today. One of his two hits, he's two for four. An RBI, a couple of runs scored. First pitch, got off the end of the bat and fouled it back. <laughs> the 0-1 is low. Count evens up one and one. Misses low, back-to-back -back balls. Now Heron finds himself behind in the count. Two on, one out, top of the eighth. Reddy's trailing 10 to five. Pitch from Heron is low, ball three. Going to try to work his way back into this one. Breaking ball misses outside. Ball four. And the bases are loaded. And now it looks like we'll have another new pitcher. As Cody Hooten makes that long, slow walk out to the mound.
Mitchell Siegel takes to the mound for the Reddies. Pitcher number seven. Two and two with an 8.55 ERA, making appearance number nine. He started four games as well. And he will throw the first pitch ball to Sawyer Price. Price, one of just four Arkansans on go. this. Harding roster, and he takes one into left field. That'll be an RBI single. One run will score. So McNeil will come to bat. Has struck out twice, has grounded out, has flown out. He's the one Harding batter who's Wishes he could have this game over, perhaps. One of two without a hit. He'll foul that first pitch back. Had a one, here's the pitch, swung on and missed. A little late arm side run, a little bit of sink to that one, and Siegel gets ahead quickly, 0-2. The 0-2 swung yeah, on, baby. lifted into center field. It lands in no man's land for a hit. One run will score. The throw to third, not in time. A second run will score. And Harding's had... Added another couple of runs. Now yeah, yeah. there are runners at second and third. Batting the catcher, number 12, Colin Hope. Just one out. Let's go, Colin. First pitch in there for a called strike to Helms. The lineup card turns over again. The sixth time through the lineup now. Foul tip into the mid again ahead 0 and 2 quickly. Go, Colin. Two is bounced to the plate. Irvin does a good job keeping it in front. Still ahead, one, two, the count. Pitch on its way, swung on, lifted, out of play left side. on his way, that one misses Go. low. A nice pitch by Siegel. Helms just able to hold up. Count now 2-2. Two -two. We'll try it again. Swung on, lifted out to left. Jones going back, just shy of the track. Makes his way onto the track and retires Helms, but it will be a sacrifice fly and another RBI as another run scores. Go, Mike. Price scores. McNeil advances to third. There are two away. First pitch to DeWald, he swings and misses. 0 for 3, two strikeouts, a walk, and a hit by pitch. He also grounded out to second. Now that McNeil has a hit, 
Two all is the only Bison to not get a hit right, today Mike, as go. he takes a big hack and a miss. He's behind 0-2. Another 0-2 count for Siegel. And he gets the swing and the miss. Harding sends nine to the plate for the second inning today. Bottom of the eighth we go. Ready trail at 14 to five. Bottom of the eighth we go. Lobo remains on the mound for Harding. He'll face the bottom third of the ready lineup. We'll start with Luke Farah. One for three. Singled, struck out, flew out to right field. Harding adds five more runs in the eighth. Chopper on the first pitch. On the backhand by Newsom, he will not be able to make that play. It's a leadoff single for Luke Farah. Put it in the perfect spot. That is the shortstop, number 11, Logan Cowart. Logan Cowart will step to the plate now. 0 for 2 with a walk. He swings the first pitch, grounds it up the middle, off the glove of Lobo. They go 1-4-6 for, for the put out of Farah for the first out, and Cowart reaches on a fielder's choice. Looks like we'll have a pinch hitter for Irvin. Jordan Allen. Jordan Allen comes to bat for the Reddies now. His first plate appearance today. A 286 average in his 25th game. He has started 20 games, and he'll take a look at ball one. Allen, four home runs, 13 driven in. He'll take two high fastballs. Has walked five times this season, has struck out 18 times. And he'll swing at that one, popped into foul territory, that one well out of play. Almost gave up on it pretty early. Two one swung on, lifted right side into foul territory toward the wall, but there's still room 
for Doyle to make the catch, and there are two away. Cal Jones will come back to the plate. He is two for four. Single, a double, two runs scored. Grounded out to second and struck out looking. A foul tips that one into the mid of Helms for strike one. Yo, one on its way, bunted down the third base line, but well foul. Oh, two. Two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Reddy's trail 14-5, swung on and missed. Jones down on strikes, and Reddy's down in the eighth. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left. To inning number nine we go. Reddy's trail 14-5. Top of the ninth will go the same way as we started the top of the eighth. You know, find Cooper Newsom taking a look at a ball from Siegel. Scritchfield in catching now for the Reddies. The 1 0 is high. I would imagine Siegel will have the entire ninth inning to himself. Freddie's trying to get what they can saved for the next game in their bullpen. Called strike one there. Two one misses up and in. Three one on its way, swung on foul oh, straight go. back toward us. Three two. Oh, yeah. The three two payoff pitch swung on and missed. Newsom down on strikes. Batting third baseman number ten, Logan Lacey. Lacey has walked his last two plate appearances. He scored two runs. First pitch he sees is a called strike one. Oh, one big overhand breaking ball. Go, it's one and one. Outside fastball misses, two one.
see one on the way. Foul back to the screen. It's two and two. 14 runs, 12 hits, no errors for Harding. Five runs, eight hits, two errors for the Reddies. 2-2 two, two the count, one out here in the top of the ninth. Seagulls pitch misses well outside. Another full count. It's been the story of today. A lot of full counts on both sides. Payoff pitch fouled straight back to the netting just above our location here. Payoff pitch on the way, swung on, poked to right field and down for a base hit. Martinez has had the big day, five RBI, two for four. He's also walked. Struck out twice, so it's kind of a three true outcomes guy. He'll swing at the first pitch and foul it out of play. Oh, one on the way, swung on and missed. Nice change up there from Siegel. Once again, 0 and 2. He's had a lot of 0 2 counts. Swung on, down to second, just past the arm of the outstretched Argenbright. And back to back singles to that right side. Doyle comes to bat here, just one hit, five plate appearances. He also walked the home run back in the fourth inning. We've got a pinch runner at first base. Looks like it's Jonathan Jackson. He'll pinch run for Martinez. First pitch swinging for Doyle is fouled. Yo, one big bender overhead gets to the backstop. Scritchfield will recover it, but not in time. Runners will advance on the wild pitch. One one is lifted out to center field. Holt going back at the track, a step shy of the wall, and he'll make the catch. Sacrifice fly will score Lacey from third base. And Bowie will come to bat, now 15 to five. First pitch swinging and first pitch crushing. Just shy of the wall is Farah there to make the catch. A long, loud out number three. Harding tacks on another one. We head to the bottom of the ninth, trailing 15 to five.
They're going to let Lobo go the distance. He'll come back on for the bottom of the ninth. Two, three, four, due up for the Reddies. And there will be a pinch hitter. So Argenbright's day, at least for this game, is done. And he will be quelled by Alex Day. Batting number five, Alex Day. Day, 286, two for seven. Limited plate appearances. We'll have him hit against the right-hander Lobo. Fast ball, gets in there at the knees for a called strike one. The 1 is high, fast ball. Reddy's are going to get some other guys opportunity to hit here in the ninth. The 1-1 one, one breaking ball stays high. A little tight, too. Two on the count. The pitch is lifted into right field and down for a base hit. Day works his way on. As the leadoff man. Batting number four, Nick Tremblay. Nick Tremblay will get the chance to pinch hit. He'll hit for Rice. It's done for game one. First pitch he sees, he swings and lifts out to left center field. Between toward left, Bowie will come on to make the catch and there is one away. Vasquez will get a chance to hit. Backup catcher hitting 192. Takes a look at called strike one. 15 appearances. He started 10 games as well. Fastball right down the middle called strike two. It swung on and missed on the changeup. Vasquez is down on strikes, and the Reddies are down to their last out, and Alex Galvin will come on to pinch hit. in seven plate appearances. He is in his 18th game, used mostly here as a pinch runner as he looks at ball one. That fastball misses down away. He's up 2-0. Two over the count, two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Swung on, lifted, foul. Back off to the left side and out of play. 
Here's the 2 1 from Lobo. Swung on, foul just over the screen. Strength behind us. Reddy's down to their last strike today. Swung on, poked, left side, in foul ground. Going for it is Lacey, and he cannot make the catch. We'll have another 2-2 delivery. The 2-2 from Lobo once more. Poked left side, down toward the corner. It's going to get in for a base hit. Fielded on a hop by Bowie. Stopping at second. There's trouble. Galvin slides back into the bag safely. He thought he was going to try to stretch it. And Day stopped. Nate Moore will be the next pinch hitter up for the Reddies. Batting number one, Nate Moore. Moore has actually gotten several starts this season. He started 22 games now, his 29th appearance. 218 average. He'll watch the fastball high and tight. Quickly now, 1-0. and oh. No delivery in there for a strike. 1-1. One and one. Pitch from Lobo, grounded to the third. Fielded by Lacey, he'll fire, make the easy throw to second on the fielder's choice, and that will be the ball game. Final score, Harding 15, Reddy's 5. For Harding, 15 runs, 14 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. For the Reddy's, 5 runs, 10 hits, 2 errors, left 6 on base. Javier Lobo gets the win to move to 3-1. and one. Reese Weeks, the loss to drop to three and one. Time of game, three hours and 10 minutes. Reddy's drop to 18 and 16, 12 and eight in conference play. Harding moves to 20 and 11, 13 and seven in the league. We'll be back in about 30 minutes with game two of this doubleheader. Thanks for listening and we'll see you back in about half an hour here on the Henderson State Sports Network.
Welcome into game two of this GAC double header. Reddy's trying to win the series with Harding. Bison's win the first game earlier today, 15 to five. Reddy's trying to salvage that one. They'll send Ethan Perry to the mound, making start number four in the season, his 11th appearance. 0-0 with a 4-3-8 ERA. No changes in the lineup. The only difference is that Helms will DH in the leadoff spot. Martinez will catch in the five hole. Everything else for the Reddies is the same. Austin Scritchfield will come in and catch in lieu of Irvin. Seven innings scheduled in this one. Reddy's hoping that Perry can eat up some innings here and keep the Reddies in the game. The bullpen was pretty heavily taxed there in game one as we used seven pitchers. We'll see how that goes. Still very nice, very good baseball weather. We will get things underway. Helms will come in. Lead off as the designated hitter. Two for four with a couple of walks. Today also had a sacrifice. Drove in three runs, also stole a base. So Perry will take the bump. Favors that left-hand side, a slightly closed set. First pitch on the outside for a called strike one. First pitch 449 here, 78 degrees. Mostly cloudy, that wind still out of the southwest about 10 miles an hour. Second pitch trying to go back to the well a second time, no luck. Set, pause, and deals. Outer third again. Helms gets him that time, but fouls it straight back. Count one and two. Nobody on, nobody out. Just underway here in game two. One, two, misses low. To even the count, two and two. Perry will set and deal. That ball hit him. No, they're going to call him back. They're going to call him out. The dead ball strike, they'll say he took his knee into it. So Perry gets a break there, and there's one away. DeWalt comes to the plate. He's still playing right field as he looks at ball one. He wore the collar in game one, struck out three times in the sixth, seventh, and eighth innings. And also walked, scored, and was hit by a pitch. And you'll take a look at strike one. Count will even. One and one. Pitch from Perry. Chopped to the right side. Rice comes over to field. Pitches over to Perry. 3-1 on the put out, and there are two away. Cooper Newsom. Cooper Newsom makes his way out. He had one hit in six plate appearances. He also was walked, hit by a pitch, scored twice, also grounded out, flew out, and struck out. Two gone here in the top of the first. First pitch swung on and missed. Way late on that one. Mm -hmm. 
Perry readies the 0-1, misses outside. Perry, the right-hander, works the far left side of the rubber on your screen. His 1-1 delivery misses well inside. Somehow flew straight and did not hit Newsom. Counts 2-1. The pitch in on the hands and fouled off back to the right-hand side. Two, two. Two's wild up there on the scoreboard. Pitch swung on, popped up on the infield. It will stay. Rice will call it, and then Cowart will call him off to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. To the bottom of the first we go. Harding, nothing. Reddy's coming up. Merritt J on the mound for Harding in this second game of the doubleheader today. Three and three on the season. Five, five, nine ERA, making his fifth start and 10th appearance. He's gone 29 innings. 18 of his 23 runs given up have been earned. 29 hits, 41 strikeouts to just 12 walks. He'll, he'll start off against Cal Jones. who got that average up to 298. For those of you who like those analytic advanced stats, OPS 914 as he swings and misses at that fastball high. For reference, the major league average is 800. In the OPS category, another swing and miss on another fastball. And he's late on it and quickly behind 0-2. That one popped left side and out of play. Another one popped left side, again out of play. O2 again chopped, and it'll run foul. Jones will stay alive yet again. Still down O2 in the count. The 0-2 again is bounced to the plate. Jones will take it for a ball. Yeah. 
One, two. He did he go? Yes, he did. Strike three. Jones down on strikes, one away. Argan Bright will come to the plate. And average up to 354. He'll swing the first pitch he sees, an awkward spin, and he'll be fouled back. Second pitch did not break the way Jay intended it to. In his account, of one and one. Nobody on, one out. No score here in the bottom of the first. Fastball. Argy goes the other way with it. It hangs up in the air just long enough for Bowie to come down with it for out number two. Luke Rice, the last hope for the Reddies here in the top of the first to get anything going. 354, where his average sits. He'll swing at the first pitch he sees, pops it into no man's land out in left field. Bowie will come on and make the catch, and no, he will make the catch. It's uh, one, two, three. First inning for the Reddies. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. Lots of zeros on the board as we head to the second. One inning is all Ethan Perry gets. Batting the third base, number 10, Logan Lacey. Andrew Howard will spell him. 2-0, and the 5-4-0 ERA. Perry, a perfect first inning. He will yield to Howard here. Middle third of the lineup due up. Starts with Logan Lacey, the third baseman. He will lift one into foul territory down the right field line. Not enough room for Farah to make a catch. It's a long, loud strike number one. <laughs> Nothing in one. Pitch from Howard, nice breaking ball in there for strike one. Quickly, 0-2 to Logan Lacey. Howard's 0-2, he'll bounce a breaking ball. Get 
waste pitch, see if he can get a chase. The one two's on its way, and it's high for ball two. We got a lot of full counts in game number one. A ah, big swing and a miss on a breaking ball there. Lacey down on strikes, and there's one away. Sebastian Martinez, the hero of game one for Harding. Five RBI, and that pitch will bounce for ball one. Martinez with the grand slam and the RBI single. Pitch swung on and missed fastball in the outer third. Martinez wanted it, got it, but could not connect. And goes to the changeup. It's a foul tip into the mitt. Makes it one and two. One, two on its way. Martinez turns on one, lifts it out to right, hangs up long enough for Farah, and there's two away. Batting the first pitch for number nine, Colton Doyle. The first baseman, Colton Doyle. Third man up for Harding here in the top of the second. Still no score. First pitch to Doyle, swung on and missed. Another breaking ball. Doyle turns on that one and lifts it deep out to left field, but it is foul. Just out in front of that off-speed pitch. Another long, loud strike. Behind in the count, 0-2. Here's Howard's pitch. That one fastball down and away. It gets all the way back to the backstop. Howard takes the sign off the rubber, now gets back on. Comes set, the one, two, swung on, just got a piece, fouled straight back. One, two, still the count. Howard's pitch, breaking ball, called, strike three. The Tom Hallion hammer call from the home plate umpire and the Bison go one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. None left at the bottom of the second. Still no score.
Bottom half of the second inning for the Reddies will find the four, five, six hitters. Mitchell Siegel will lead it off. Singled and walked in game one. Also finished the game off on the mound. As he will take a look at strike one. Second one in there as well, called strike two, and Siegel turns and looks as if to say that's a little inside if you ask me, but nobody asks. The 0-2, high on a fastball. One, two on its way, Siegel swings late, fouls it back. Stays alive. Still 1 2. The pitch from Jay, breaking ball. Bounce to the plate. About a 59 foot 6 inch pitch. Even the count at 2 and 2. Jay delivers, Siegel swings, lifts it into shallow left field. Coming on is Bowie, and the third batter in a row is retired by the Bison's left fielder. That is the third baseman of three, Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas will come to the plate. Now he singled, stole a base, and scored. Also struck out. Grounded into a fielder's choice and grounded out to third base. Swings the first pitch he sees. Swung at ball one. The 0 1 is well above eye level. Chase 1-1, one, one, drops, too low, ball two. Jay's pitch turned and lifted out to left field. Plenty of room for Bowie to make the fourth consecutive catch out there in left field. And the Reddies have two down in the frame. Batting the center fielder, number 12, Louis Holt. So Louis Holt, the last hope for the Reddies here in the second. Holt struck out twice, singled, and grounded out. He drove in two runs with that single back in the third. First pitch swinging, fouls it back. Oh, one the count. The pitch from Jay is up. The toughest part of the day for hitters here. It's a pitcher fully in the sunshine. The batter's box and plate area fully shaded. Hard to see that ball as it'll change colors as Holt fouls that one off a little late, and it's 1-2. Jay rocks and fires. That one high and outside. Didn't finish it. That high arm side miss. Two two on its way. Breaking ball. Holt pokes to short. Newson across the diamonds and it is not caught by Doyle. Lost his glove trying to scoop it. Heard Holt coming fast. I'm gonna rule that one a two out single. Luke Farah to the plate. Two for four in game one. Uh, pitch misses high for ball one. The 
The 1-0 breaking ball in there for strike one. Hole takes a modest lead off of first. They'll go back to check on him. Back in plenty of time. No tag applied. Pickoff move again. A lot of speed on that throw over by Jay, but still not in time to even put a tag on the very fast Holt. There we go. Swung right down the line. Hit him in the box. So it's going to be foul either way. Man, Farrell will have to walk that one off down 1-2. Holt win. There were those two pickoff moves. Their rule book might say disengagements. Either way. Ball high and outside. Evens account two and two. Another high and tight pitch. Look out. Sparrow has to dive out of the way. Runs the count even. Runs it full. Holt will be going. The payoff pitch. Breaking ball. Push down the right side into the Harding bullpen. So we'll have to do it all again. Fastball fouled straight back. The third payoff pitch. Holt breaks again. Breaking ball lifted foul and out of play up the right side. Farah hanging in there. Three two on the way. He's down and away for ball four. Farrell works a two out walk. Puts runners at first and second with two away. Logan Cowart will step to the plate with two away. And a man on first and second. Big breaking ball for Jay is in there for strike one. Fastball in there at the belt. Recalled strike two. Raised down to their last strike here in the second. Jay sets and checks. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball. Coward just, or Coward just pokes it to the right side out of play. They'll have another 0-2. Swung on, lifted, but well out of play off the right side again. Two good at bats put together back to back here by the Reddies with two outs in the inning. Another pitch from Jay. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. Tag applied. 
And the Raiders will go silently in the second. No runs, no hits, one error, two left. We go to the third, still tied at zero. Seven eight nine, two up for Harding here in the third, facing Andrew Howard, his second inning of work. It's going to be Nathan Bowie, the left fielder, who's been kept plenty busy in the field. And called strike one. And we're underway in the inning. Just missed for a ball. The 1-1 one, one from Howard, fouled off the left side. Well out of play. Pitch on its way, poked off the end of the bat, fouled away again. And Bowie stays alive, one and two. One, two, called strike three. Back to back punch outs for Howard. There's one away in the third. Sawyer Price, the center fielder. First pitch he sees is a fastball outside. Counts 1 and 0. Oh. Top of the third, one out, no score. Breaking ball, missed the inside corner. Now 2-0. The pitch from Howard misses outside again. 3-0. Rio gets in there for a call. Strike one. Price probably taking all the way there. Three one the count. The pitch swung on, chopped to third. It is just foul. Thomas was going to charge on the backhand. Count runs full. Said that a few times today. P 
Payoff pitch from Howard, swung on, chopped to third. Thomas feels it on a hop, fires across. Rice cannot scoop it, and it'll bounce off the concrete. And a throw down from Scritchfield. Over slid the bag, but Argon Bright unable to reach. So that will be an E5, a two base error. And Harding has their first base runner of the day. First pitch, a little outside, probably a little high as well. Howard checks his runner. Uh, the 1 0 to Drew McNeil. Swung on, lifted out of play. Howard sets, fires. That one bounces. Good job by Scritchfield to keep it blocked up. Count 2 1. Neither team with a hit. Both teams have one fielding error. 2-0 inside pitch. McNeil turns on it, but it was in on his hands, and he sent it out of play to the left side. 2-2. One popped up. Shallow center. In fact, Cowart just behind the second base bag will make the catch, and there's two away. Back to the top of the lineup for Harding. Struck out to start the game. Two outs, man on second. Takes the lead. Helms turns on that one, sends it out to right field. Going back is Farah makes the catch just shy of the track. And Harding goes quietly into third. No runs, no hits, one error, one left. We head to the bottom half of the third. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Austin Scritchfield leads things off for the Reddies here in the bottom half of the third. A 250 average entering this game. He swings at a first pitch fastball and fouls it away. The 0 1 fouled straight back. Right, barreling that one up, a little in toward the hands, quickly behind 0-2. Okay. 
Jay rocks and fires. Breaking ball well below the zone. A lot of waste pitches. Here's the one, two. Breaking ball. Critchfield turns on it and lifts it into left field for a base hit. Leadoff single for Scritchfield. That's the first hit of the game for either team. And the lineup turns over back to Cal Jones. He struck out swinging in the first. First pitch, Jones shows bunt, pushes it down the first base line, fielded by Jay, finally scooped it with the glove. So the sacrifice gets Scritchfield to second, one to three on the putout. You always love to see a runner in scoring position with Caden Argenbright up to bat. This situation no different. Trying to break a scoreless tie. First pitch is high for ball one. Scritchfield dancing around. That one almost got Argenbright. Misses inside for ball two. Two know the count. Jay checks his runner at second. Now kicks and deals. Caught the outside corner with a breaking ball. Two one. Jays 2-1, breaking ball again. Argan Bryant pushes it down the left field line, but well foul. The count evens 2-2. Two and two. Two, 2 on its way, pulled this time, but still foul. We'll do it again. The 2-2 again, Argan Wright lifts it. A pop fly on the infield. Second baseman McNeil coming in, will make the catch and there's two away. Starting the first base, number 22, Luke Rice. Rice flew out to left to end the first inning. He's hoping for a base knock here. Pitch. Rice will take a look at a fastball in the outer third. Rice will foul that or pop that into foul territory. There's plenty of room over there for Lacey, and he'll make the catch. Brady's get a leadoff hit, but they strand him at second. No runs, no one hit, no errors, one left. We go to the third, still no score.
Top half of the fourth, two, three, four. Coming up for Harding. Howard out for his third inning of work. He's kind of known as the Reddy's bullpen workhorse. Dewald will step to the plate. Grounded out to first. First pitch he sees misses outside. Breaking ball never did get to that back door. 2-0. Inside fastball lifted out to center field. Holt going back on the track at the wall and makes the catch, crashing against the wall. Batting the shortstop, number 15, Cooper Newsom. Holt going to take his time getting back to his spot in center after that one. One away for Cooper Newsom. Popped out to short to end the first inning. Newsom takes a look at a nice fastball in there for strike one. Breaking ball, fouled off to the right. Out of play, it's 0-2. 0-2 pitch from Howard, swung on and missed, got him on the breaking ball. There's two down. Batting the third base, number 10, Logan Lacey. Lacey struck out swinging to start the second. First pitch, outer third for a called strike one. Had a little more, a little more run on that fastball. Breaking ball, got in there for strike two. Howard working quickly. The 0-2 missed, down and out. <laughs> One, two with two outs. Oh, he just missed the outside corner. Two two on its way. Breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Another two strike pitch by Howard is hit, but foul. We'll try it again. Nobody on, two out. Top of the fourth. Breaking ball is pulled into left field for a base hit. A two out hit is the first one surrendered by the Reddies in this game. A little trouble getting the ball back in, but Howard there to back up the throw. We'll bring it in. Two out single. Brings Martinez to the plate. First 
First pitch is up for ball one. No runs, one hit, one error for Harding. No runs, one hit, one error for the Reddies. One zero from Howard, swung on and missed. That one swung on, lifted out the left side. One and one. One on, two out. High fastball. Chase pitch there. For a ball. 2-2 two, two the count. Two out. Still top of the fourth. Howard sets, checks, and fires. That ball misses low. Runners going on a delay. Steal. And, oh, he dropped the ball. It was a dropped ball. Cowart had him on the tag. The ball came loose. So a steal for Lacey. And a full count now to Martinez. The payoff pitch to Martinez is lifted high down the right field line. It's hooking, and it is foul. Another 3-2 delivery from Howard. He got off the knob of the bat, so a foul ball. Breaking ball, Martinez lifts it into left center. Holt going back. He will be just shy of the warning track to make the catch. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left. To the bottom of the fourth we go, still no score. Middle third of the lineup due up for the Rays in the fourth, and it'll start with Mitchell Siegel, who also flew out to left field, one of about four in a row to do so. First pitch he sees from Jay misses outside, and Martinez unable to bring it in. one -oh, Bender must have stayed high. The 
2-0. Swung on, lifted out to center field. Coming over is Price. He makes the catch for out number one. Batting the third baseman, number three, Dylan Thomas. Thomas also flew out to left in the second. He was the fourth of four consecutive. First pitch swinging and fouling it back. Breaking ball just missed up. One, one, swung on and popped up on the infield. Newsom calls it early, makes the catch, and there are quickly two away. That is the center fielder, number 12, Rui Holt. Louis Holt reached on a two base error in his previous plate appearance, so he's 0 for 1. Now he takes a look at ball one low. Jay's still out there, his fourth inning of work. Breaking ball will not get back. It misses now 2 0. Delivery tries to get his way back in the count. He does so. Two one on its way. Breaking ball found straight back. Straight back again. We'll do another 2 2. Breaking pitch, chopped, and foul. A lot of foul balls today as well. A lot of big counts. A lot of foul balls with two strikes in particular. Another 2-2 swung on and poked foul once again. Everybody taking a little time as the umpire gets more baseballs. Two-two count, the pitch is poked and well foul. You guessed it. We'll do it again. Pitch chopped to second. McNeil there. Over to Doyle at first. One, two, three. Go the Reddies in the fourth. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. To the fifth we go. Still no score.
Six, seven, eight coming up for Harding here in the top half of the fifth. Pitcher's duel. Perry went the perfect first inning. Howard has not yielded yet. This first pitch to Doyle is low, though, for ball one. Howard sets, rocks, fires. Ball is low, 2-0. and oh. Oh, he went on that one. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Took him a second to on that one, but the sword can be cast. Count 2-1. Doyle knew as soon as he swung that that's a shoulder-high fastball. And he'll take a look at strike two. Outside corner, Doyle wanted it so badly and somehow was able to hold back. Runs the count full three and two. Payoff pitch lined right at Cowart. Surprise, there it is. Makes the stab for the first out. Bowie steps in, left side, swings at the first pitch and fouled away. Struck out looking to lead off the third. Yo one showing bunt, pulling it back and looking at ball one low. Lots of ones on that scoreboard right now, lots of zeros up there as well. Pitch ran the alarm side run there for Howard, and it's two and one. This might be a war of attrition. Whoever can score first, never know what happens. Once that first run crosses the play, that one lined out to center. Holt on his horse. He'll watch that one hit off the base of the wall. That one's going to go for extra bases, and Bowie will walk into second with a one-out double. So Price will come up. He reached on an error. Back in the third inning. He comes to bat now with one out in the fifth. He'll watch that nice slider in there for strike one. is swung on, popped right side in foul territory and well out of play as it lands and rolls back toward a drain. And the count's 0-2. Breaking ball misses low. Trying to get the chase pitch there. One to the count, one out top of the fifth. Pitch fastball misses outside, 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> 2-2 two, two, 
2-2 on its way. Breaking ball gets away from Scritchfield, but he keeps it in front of him. Price has worked the count full as Bowie leads off a second. Howard's payoff pitch is hit off of Bowie. Be a foul ball and we'll do it again. The payoff pitch once more. Breaking ball just missed outside for ball four. McNeil will come to the plate. He popped out to short in his only other at bat. First pitch swinging, fouls it off left side, back up toward the parking lot and the seating bowl. Down, gets it back quickly. The pitch is lined right at second. Argon Bright to Coward at short. On to Rice at first for the double play. 4-6-3. And the ready defense holds. Stranding one. And we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Stretch time here in game two. No score. Seven, eight, nine, up for the Reddies here in the home half of the fifth. Still no score in game two of this GAC doubleheader and the rubber match. First pitch swinging, Farah lifts it to left field. It is drifting and it is foul. Long, loud strike one. We've had several towering shots that have gone foul today. A one catches the inside corner and Ferris quickly down 0-2. two pitch, bounces, ball one. One, two, hits Farrah right in the back shoulder. Rose that bat all the way to the dugout. He'll make his way to first. A leadoff hit batsman. That 
Logan Cowart struck out to end the second inning. His only other plate appearance. First pitch, Cowart shows bunt and pulls it back and watches ball one. A good bit low. Slow pickoff over the first. No tag applied. As fair as back in plenty of time. He'll offer at that one. And strike one. Cowart squares, pulls back, back pick. Very close there as Cowart's back in. Two, one to count. Probably still showing bunt here. He will, and he'll offer. Strike two. Two to the count, one on, nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. Runner goes, he's up, stolen base, and the ball gets well past the catcher, Martinez, but Farah slid and could have possibly turned and gone to third on the wild pitch. Full count, first base open here to the eight-hole batter, Cowart. Payoff pitch, breaking ball, lit and lined, and Farah's going to get doubled off. Newsom flips to McNeil. 6-4 on that put out, and just like that, there are two away. Batting the catcher of the 19, Austin Strishfield. So Scritchfield will come up. He led off the third with a single. First pitch he sees. He turns on and lifts it out to left. Drifting over is Bowie, and he makes the catch. No runs, no hits, no errors. None left in the fifth for the Reddies. We head to the sixth with no score. Top of the lineup, due up for Harding. No score, a combined three hits between these two teams. 
after 20 combined runs in game one. First pitch to Helms, catches the outside corner for a strike. Howard flawless in his four innings of work so far today as he throws ball one down. Helm struck out, flew out to right. One one pitch on the way, clipped him on the elbow, and he'll go to first base, the leadoff hit batsman. Leadoff runner on for Harding for the first time today in this game. Michael Dewald steps to the plate 0 for 2. Ground out to first. Fly out to center field. Takes a look at ball one outside. Almost looked like a pitch out. The 1-0, swung on, poked foul. Left side. One to hit a pole and went out of play. The 1-1, swung on, chopped foul. Howard works ahead again, one and two. No runs, two hits, one error for Harding. No runs, one hit, one error for the Reddies. Howard sets, checks the runner at first. Now he'll fire over there. Rice the swipe tag, not in time. Helms makes it back. We'll try the one, two again. Swung on and missed on a change-up strike three. Dewald is down for the first out of the sixth. That is a shortstop, number 15, Cooper Newsom. And Cody Hooten makes his way out of the dugout. And that might be the end of the day for Andrew Howard. Wouldn't think so. We'll see after this. We'll have a new pitcher. We'll tell you more about him after this.
Peyton Bird will come into the game. 13th appearance on the season. 0-3 with a 5-6-0 ERA. Two saves on the year. Both against Northwestern Oklahoma. Back-to-back -back days. We'll check over at first, and they'll call it a balk. Had him picked. And Helms will stand at second, and we'll have a discussion. So a balk on the first pitch, on the first pickoff move thrown by Bird, but Helms at second. And Newsom will foul that ball to the left side. 0 oh, 1. Like he lifted that left foot. It was a it was bang bang two. Another one pulled foul. Quickly 0 oh, 2. Last appearance was last Sunday at East Central. Went two and two-thirds innings. Struck out four in that time. Two hits, one run. So hit a batter. And just misses the outside corner. Needed just ten pitches to get eight outs. Uh, fastball is low. Scritchfield has a little bit of trouble. Comes away with it anyway. Unfortunately for Bird, that run he gave up at East Central was the game winning run. He was tagged with the loss to now make him 0 and 3. The 2 2 swung on, pulled down the left field line, and foul. Just barely foul. Reminiscent of last night. And we'll do the 2-2 all over again with one out here on the top of the sixth. No score. Bird rocks and fires and misses the outside corner again. And the count runs full. Payoff pitch is swung on and lifted foul. We'll do it again. First base unoccupied. Helms takes a small lead off the second. That ball misses high and outside for ball four. And we'll have a meeting of the lines on the mound. Back after this.
Two on, one away here in the top of the sixth. Tied still, 0-0. Zero, zero. Breaking ball, misses high for ball one. Lacey singled and stole a base back in the fourth inning after striking out in the second. Second one must have missed just low. Clouds starting to work their way over Clydeberry Field. That ball fouled off by Lacey to the right side. Two and one. Logan Lacey, the sophomore from North Richland Hills, Texas. Several Texans on this Harding roster. That ball gets through the legs of Scritchfield, and the runners will advance. And now it's 3-1. advance on the past ball. 3-1 the count now. Brady's playing infield in. Swung on, lifted out to right. Farah going back. That should be deep enough to score a run. The runners will advance. Throw is cut off by Rice. And Harding breaks the seal on the scoring. Newsom advances to third. An RBI for Lacey. And there are two away. Two outs now ready. Infield will play regular depth. They'll also shift for Martinez, who is 0 for 2 with a walk in this one as he swings and misses strike one. L1 misses low. Scritchfield blocks it up. Runner on third with two out. Pitch swung on and missed on a low ball. And Bird is one strike away from getting out of this one. Rocks and fires from the windup. Misses well high. Pitch swung on and missed strike three. Martinez down on strikes to end the inning. Harding, though, gets the first run of the game. They strand one as well. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Reddy's trail 1-0.
Preston Tabor, the Dallas Baptist transfer, takes to the hill for Harding. Batting the left fielder, number eight, Kyle Jones. Merritt J in line for the win after five innings of one hit baseball. Top of the lineup due up for the Reddies here in the home half, the sixth. Cal Jones will lead it off and take a look at ball one. Lefty, lefty to start the inning for the Reddies. Breaking ball, that nicked him. And Jones is hit. Leadoff man is aboard. Batting the second baseman, number six, Caden Argenbright. Argenbright struggled here in game two. He's 0 for 2, flew out to left, popped out to second base. Left-hander with it. We'll cut to that. Pitch did not land in the zone. Argenbright takes ball one. Ball misses up, two and zero. Oh. And now they'll take time. Patrick McGahey will make his way to the mound. Well, they'll have a meeting of the minds. Quick meeting, 2-0 to Argenbright. We'll see if Tabor can calm himself down or if the Reddies can get something going. That breaking ball missed low, 3-0. and oh. Go pitch, Argon Bright watches strike one right at, or maybe just a hair above the belt. Here's the look, that one is low for ball four. Back to back, free base runners for the Reddies. Batting the first pace, number 22, Luke Wright. And Luke Rice comes up. The best opportunity the Reddies have had all day. Two on, nobody out. The only other time they had two runners on was in the second, and that came with two out. Rice takes a look at the cut fastball strike one. At least one arm staying ready in the Harding bullpen. Rice pokes that one down the first base line. It is fielded. And Doyle will just take it to the bag himself. That one a slow roll. We're going to be hard to roll to there in that situation. Runners advance. And Rice is retired. And Harding's going to go to the bullpen. The Reddies are going to counter, potentially with a pinch hitter. We'll tell you all those changes right after this.
Allen. Jordan Allen will bat for the Reddies. Pinch hit back in game number one. He will face Griffin Meeker. 4-1 and one with a 4.97 ERA for Harding. Swings at the first pitch and pops it up on the infield. Doyle there, and there are two away. Meeker second on the team with two saves in 25 and a third. Batting the third base, number three, Dylan Thomas. Two men in scoring position, two outs in the bottom of the sixth for Dylan Thomas. The side armor, Meeker delivers that one outside. The 1-0 right down pine for strike one. One one is swung on, chopped foul. And Thomas is behind the count one two. The one two from Meeker. Swung on, lifted in toward the gap, and it is down for a base hit. One run will score. Two runs will score. Thomas will waltz into second base with a two-run double. RBIs number 11 and 12 on the season for Dylan Thomas. And it looks like they're going to have a pinch runner run for Thomas. They are, and it looks like it's going to be Nick Tremblay. Pinch running for Eddie, number four, Nick Tremblay. So here's Louis Holt, 0 for 2, reached on an error. And he lifts that one in toward the gap in left center. It is down for a base hit. Tremblay will score. Holt will trade places. And the Reddies lead it 3-1. to one. Late heroics from the Reddies. If the score holds, Tabor will actually be on the hook for the loss. He's given up two runs to Meeker's one. Pitch to Farah misses. Think outside for ball one. The 1-0 swung on, pulled foul. A good ways down the left-hand side. The 1-1, Farrell will let it go outside. One on its way, misses inside. And it's now 3-1. Looks like Harding is got a couple of right-handers just staying loose. And Farah fouls that one away, and the count runs full. Payoff pitch to Farah coming here. Misses outside, ball four. 
Ready to have another base runner. That is the shortstop, number 11, Logan Cowart. Cowart 0 for 2. The last time he came to a pl the plate was a completely different scenario. More on the ready offense. Now playing with a 3 to 1 lead. Ball one, down and away. Meeker struggling to find the zone here. Swung on and missed. One one the count. And pitch to Coward. Swung on. Base hit in the left field. They're gonna send him. Around second come Holt. He is going to score. And the Reddies strike another run. Farrah with a base hit, and Harding will switch pitchers yet again. We'll tell you about the new bison arm after this. Kyle Lane, the new pitcher for Harding. Lane 1-0 with an ERA right at four. He is now in stop the bleeding duty. Meeker goes a third of an inning. Has given up two runs so far and is on the hook for the two that are on base. Foul tipped one into the glove. Did Scritchfield for strike one. Allen will bounce. Good job by Martinez keeping it in front of him. One and one the count. Reddy's very dramatic here. Have saved all the runs, and there's a hit batsman, Scritchfield. We'll head to first, and the bases are loaded. Batting the left fielder, number eight, Cal Jones. 
And the lineup card turns over. Cal Jones will bat for the second time this inning. He was hit by a pitch and scored earlier. Not the best start for Lane out of the Harding bullpen. First pitch, watches it outside. The 1 0 is high for ball two. Late inning, two out magic for the Reddies. They've not scored in the half. 2 0 pitch misses outside. It's 3 and 0. Lane in danger of walking in a runner. Rio misses outside, ball four. Jones never had to take the bat off his shoulder. So the Reddies tack another one on, it's five to one. And Argenbright comes to the plate. The base is loaded and two away. Ball gets away. Here comes the runner from third, and he'll slide in safely as Cowart scores on the wild pitch. Runners advance now six to one. Reddies have tied for the most runs in an inning today. Harding scored six. Back in game one earlier today. Ball goes inside 2 0. Here's the 2 0. Catches the outside corner. Strike one. Lane finally throws a strike. Here's the 2-1, outside, ball three. Same issues that befell the Reddies in the first game as that one's fouled off by Argenbright. Counts full at 3-2. Argon Bright up the middle base hit. That'll score two. Two RBI for Argon Bright. And we will have yet another Harding pitching change when we come back.
The new pitcher is Will Roguski for the Bisons. One and one with a 5-4 ERA. He is the fourth pitcher of the inning for the Bisons. He's got a man on with two out. And Luke Rice takes a look at strike one. The 0-1 is low. Argon Bright will not be able to advance. One one the count. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. The Radies have exploded offensively for eight runs. Big breaking ball never got there. It's two one. Price settles in the two one from Robuski is foul. Two, two, two away. The pitch to Rice, swung on and missed strike three. But how about the Reddies in the bottom of the sixth? Eight runs, still just five hits in the game. Four of them came in the inning. They'll leave a runner on, and we will head to the seventh. Reddies three outs away from splitting the doubleheader and winning the series. A lot of defensive changes for the Reddies. Argenbright goes from second to third. Farah moves in from right. He'll play second. And a new outfield. Holt moves over to left field. Nick Tremblay stays in the game in right field. Nate Moore will come in to center field. Peyton Bird still on the mound. He'll face six, seven, eight in the Harding lineup. And he'll start with Colton Doyle. He will look at a fastball high. No, Doyle lifts it in foul ground, drifting towards the line and out of play. One one the count. Top of the seventh here. Right, he's just need to get three outs for a series win. That ball popped up on the infield. Cowart will call Argon Bright off, and Doyle is retired. Bowie, one for two, struck out looking in the third, doubled in the fifth, was stranded. First pitch misses the outside corner for ball one. The 1-0 from Bird, swung on and missed. Nice pitch from Bird. And Bowie swung right over the top of it. 
Count evens. One and one. Pitch is lifted left side, out of play. One and two. Count one out here in the top of the seventh. Second game of this doubleheader. Reddy's two outs away from a series win after losing game two. Pitch swung on, chopped up the right side. Fair going to try to make a play. Catches on the backhand, fires to Rice, but is not in time. A great play anyway, and Bowie legs out an infield single. That is the center fielder number five, Sawyer Price. Price 0 for 1 with a walk. You know, two base error, on a throwing error by Thomas back in the third walked and was part of the 4-6-3 double play to end the fifth. He swing foul, tipped that one into the mitt. Yo, one swung on, fouled off the shoulder pad of the umpire. He's fine, so won't take any time. Pitch runner goes. I want to call that defensive indifference, but we're going to give him a stolen base. I'm a nerd for defensive indifference in these late inning situations. Uh, we'll give Bowie the steal. One, two, the count on Price. Swung on, lifted, and it's just popped up. Shallow left field. In fact, Cowart will make his second put out of the inning, and the Reddies are one out away. That is the second baseman, number one, Drew McNeil. McNeil, the last hope for the Bisons, fouls one off out of play. The 0 1 on its way, swung on, lifted out to right field, shallow, shallow right field. Farah is there, and the Reddies will take the win. Final score, Reddies 8, Harding 1. Reddies take the series. Final stats for this one. Harding one run on three hits, one error with five left on base. For the Reddies, eight runs on five hits, one error with four 